Welcome to Afilados, the channel where I feature my personal collection of knives. And I want to say Happy New Year 2023. Also, Happy Year of the Rabbit. Yes, Chinese uh, New Year. Uh, we're in January right now, and the New Year, New Chinese Year starts and I want to feature uh, the new knife and uh, Year of the Rabbit. So we have this year in my collection a knife that I've been eyeing for a long, long time. I wanted to get this bad boy and finally Santa Claus brought it for me. Actually it was a really good deal. Um, usually it costs about $45 and I waited, waited, waited all year long for December and they had an in special look at this beauty wooden handle beautiful shape, I love the shape on this knife the model number is ER438SO by Elk Ridge look at this just beautiful blade still has I haven't even taken it out of the package I haven't even used it so this is almost like buoy knife I would say and big big knife for sure I like the wooden handle it has the grooves for the fingers uh, a guard and uh, a beautiful logo Elk Ridge and the other side says uh, custom design a stainless steel hand forged in China but look at this it's just beautiful I'm gonna take this camping it's gonna be by my side look at this guy nice leather sheath and welcome to my collection don't get jealous yeah, so I look forward to use it uh, when I go camping, probably in, in July of this year. And I can't wait to use it. Thank you, Santa Claus. Thank you. Anyway, so moving on. Another beautiful and, and surprising knife. This is a bare bones, hori hori, Japanese digging knife pretty much uh, hori hori I think it um, stands for digging it's uh, almost like a spade where it has a curved um, profile if you can see it almost like a little digging uh, bar and it has serration on one side a straight edge on the other side and also a little hook and this is really nice I already used it uh, to dig I was putting some um, lights in front of my house and um, this actually worked really well I uh, cut some roots with it and um, also has some measuring uh, some lines of, with inches in each um, engraved on the on the blade itself, wooden handle, full tang, it goes all the way to the back of the metal and also I was chopping some um, uh, branches and it did a wonderful job. I'm looking forward to use this all year long. I do a little bit of gardening, you know, maintain, maintenance on my backyard so this is an amazing uh, knife, thank you for the gift to my to my mom here we go so get one if you can I, n I didn't know about this and this was such a nice surprise um, so you can't tell that you're not gonna be surprised I thought I knew a lot about knives but look at this guy it's just a beautiful tool then um, I was in San Francisco and I went to uh, a knife shop and they sell um, different brands. Um, I think one of them was Hell from uh, Finland. And but I thought they were a little expensive, and 
I found this jewel, uh, it's called Mora. Mora from Sweden. Um, it is a, um, a wood carving knife. And look at this guy. Sharp like you wouldn't believe. Actually, there is a little stain, probably you can see on the tip of the knife. And that's my blood because <laughs> it fell off my pocket and I tried to reach for it behind me and I it dug into my to my thumb like a scalpel so it's very 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 sharp it's high carbon steel so it will it will stain that's why I thought I cleaned the blood but um, it is stained the uh, the, the blade and, and I think it gives it some character. It's just a very sharp knife, very cool, surgical. So I'm looking forward to carve some, some wood with this, have some fun. Uh, I, will, I don't know if I like this uh, sheath, it's almost like an excuse uh, so you don't get punctured but um, this I don't think you can carry in your knife and your belt, I'm sorry. Yeah. So um, here it is, an amazing addition. Another addition is this um, French uh, little saw. It's a saw knife. Um, I'm sorry, France, you lost the World Cup. Argentina won. But uh, so we're celebrating with this little knife right here. Actually, it's it's a saw. It's a uh, Pinel number 12. And look at this guy. That's a cool little saw if you want to go camping, want to cut some, some branches, some wood. So I love it. And when you open it, this part rotates and it locks the blade in place. So, I'm sorry, there you go. So now it's not going to come off. So very, very, very cool saw. And um, you cut by pulling on the saw. Very good, so another knife that I got into my collection is this guy right here. I've heard about um, Becker from K-Bar and uh, this is the BK3. I was looking for the BK2 but then you know when I saw this guy I thought this is really cool, very unique. I haven't seen a knife like this. And this is almost like a pry bar. I would love to have this in my car. So I have to pry something open. It has something to cut, um, some sort of a hook. It has a partial serration right here. And also has um, more on this side, um, almost like a chisel. And um, it's, it's kind of a heavy knife. Um, it's a full tang. This particular one has a, a very grippy um, um, handle that I believe this was uh, this was actually um, a used knife that I bought from a collector, and he gave me a really good price on it. And I'm really looking forward to use this guy. Actually, I used it a little bit. I was chopping some branches and it did a wonderful job so I'm looking forward to use this this guy comes with a little sheath and this is all for this year these are the brand new knives that got into my collection and um, I want to say thank you and subscribe